welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. My name is Callie and today up on the tabletop we have Tiny Ninjas by Universe Games. Tiny Ninjas is a strategy card game for two players ages 8 and up and it takes about 15 minutes to play. In Tiny Ninjas you play as a sensei uh, training ninjas to compete in battle against each other. So let's see what you get in Tiny Ninjas. Here is the box for Tiny Ninjas. You can see you open it up this way and here's the rules and then you use these pieces to transform the box into your playing area. These two set just right in there nice and neat and you also have your counter health counters for your sensei. Each player gets one of those as well as your little sensei character to uh, mark what how many wins you've gotten. You also have uh, two dice which have different uh, numbers as well as colors on them for the different ninja cards that you will be playing. There's a whole bunch of different ninja cards here. Each ninja has a certain attack uh, value as well as color and it'll tell you which dice to roll as well as what you get when you roll those those different uh, dice combinations. Some of them will also have some special some special text here, special directions. Just read those as you get to them, and you have to match the different uh, different color attacks and defense. The objective of Tiny Ninjas is to reduce your opponent's health to zero. How do you do that? You're going to play your ninja cards to attack them. So at the beginning of the game, each player will get five ninja cards and one player will play as the attacker and one as the defender. The attacker will play a card to attack and depending on the number and color on the card, they'll roll the die and determine how much damage they do. The defender then has a chance, if they want to, to defend that roll as long as they can meet the specified uh, defender color requirements. They will have that chance to roll as well and then uh, whatever damage is left over they'll have to take on the damage counter. At this point the attacker can choose to attack again or simply pass and let the defender now become draw up to five cards and now become the attacker. The game continues in these phases until someone reaches zero health and the other one wins. Let's see how you play a couple of turns. So here we have the game set up, the two players. We have our attacker here and our defender over here. So our attacker is going to choose to play Elder, which has a red attack of one through six using the colored die. So we'll go ahead and roll this die here. Uh, it attacks for three, just the number of the the value there. Now our defender over here has a chance. Since it is a red attack, the defender has to use a red or a yellow to defend. So we could do this one would be a straight up two defense. And now um, our defender is only going to take one damage right there. And then we will continue. The attacker now has a choice to attack again or to uh, leave it and let the defender. We'll do one more attack here and the attacker is going to do a a ghost card here which has does a blue attack for zero or three and this time we're going to use the black or white die and see what happens. This is actually a white side so it does zero damage. The defender does not have to play a card to defend, um, so we can just move along and the attacker can then choose to attack again. In this case, I think the attacker will uh, not attack again and wait till the next round. They do want to keep a few cards in their hand in order to defend, as our defender player will now become the attacker and choose what to attack. Round one is over and now our attacker is going to become the defender. They do not get to draw any cards and our new attacker will have a chance to draw up to five. Draw one more card here 
And the attacker always attacks first. Gonna play magic, the magic ninja, uh, which does blue damage, one through three, depending on which color you get on the dice. Here we got green, which is two damage. So this is a blue attack. So our defender needs to defend with a blue or a yellow. However, they do not have that. So they're gonna have to take the two damage. I think they're 10 and now at eight. And our attacker can choose to attack again. Now the attacker knows they either chose not to or do not have blue, def blue or yellow defense. They could do another magic ninja rolling again another two damage that our defender will take since they cannot defend and oh, they might as well go go again and attack this ghost here could be zero damage could be three depending on what you roll here and it's white so takes zero damage at this point our attacker has decided not to attack anymore and the phase would be over and now our new our defender would become the attacker draw up to five and start another round that's how you play tiny ninjas the first thing you might notice about tiny ninjas is the unique transforming box what's really cool is that you can keep the game all self-contained in there it kind of opens up into a little scene of the world that you're about to enter with the dojo and all the greenery and the ninjas. Um, it's pretty fun and the, it's just a unique uh, use of the box which usually the box is just for containing the pieces. In this game, in Tiny Ninjas, it contains the entire game within that box which makes it also great for traveling or playing in small spaces. Uh, I also like that, you know, you can contain the dice rolls in the box. Your dice isn't going to go uh, rolling across the table and down to the ground or whatever, which is great, especially uh, if you're playing with uh, younger players. Uh, also, the art, you know, like I said, it kind of creates this little world of the tiny ninjas with you as a sensei training up the ninjas. A couple of my favorite ninjas are the princess ninja, you know, she's got uh, her dress and scepter and crown but you know she's a princess <laughs> she what's also cool about her is you can choose instead of attacking but while while you're on your attack phase to use her ability to heal so there are some healing elements and some different sort of text here that you can that alter the abilities of the cards a little bit um what's nice about the cards also is that these cards that have special abilities have a little marker at the bottom and you, the rules say you can choose to take them out uh, if you want to play a simpler version of the game or a game with younger players however if, if they can read the ability it's pretty straightforward they should be able to uh, be at an age to be able to play with all of the cards it's really great another card that I really just like the art of was the panda They're always cute little panda <laughs> so the game itself is very quick easy to learn and play and uh very you know quick to play as well as learn uh there's lots of examples in the rules which is great and you can really get a feel goes through sort of like i did uh, entire turns of the game uh, so you can really see how the different uh dice and colors interact with each other um there is a, a little bit of balance of luck and strategy. So a lot of the cards, you know, you have to decide, uh, you know, it's depend on what you roll and you could do zero damage or a lot. Uh, some of them are a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, round, rounded or, or balanced. And some of them are just straight up. This one is just three damage, that's it. So uh, depending, it can depend a little bit on what cards you're getting but also how you choose to defend or attack with them. So there's a lot of choice, especially when you are choosing how much you wanna attack. Because if you attack with all of your cards, you can't draw up, so you're not gonna be able to defend yourself against the attacker. Uh, you really have to choose that wisely, and I think that's kind of a good, that's a good lesson for younger players to learn how to kind of balance that out. Um, the components are really nice. The foam pieces of the box uh, that 
have the counter on it and the sensei have held up really well against playing. Uh, the cards are a fine quality. Um, and the dice, I love the dice, how they have, each dice has two different ways to roll it. So there's actually a lot of different probability options and there's some um, math connections there as well. Um, you can, you kind of have to look at the die differently, rolling it, whether it's based on the number or the color and think about what is the probability of that. And that gets back to how you're going to uh, play your strategy in the game whether you're going to, you know, be risky or uh, play safe and all of that. So it's a really great game to play with two players, especially uh, I think younger, some younger kids would really like this. It has a great theme that a lot of people like, ninjas, and you can kind of play it on the go or, uh, you know, you can even play it in the car if you need to, backseat of the car or airplane. Uh, just uh, one of those games you can play for when you have a quick, um, you know, 15 minutes where you're waiting for something or uh, trying to get it in, in between some other games. So if you think you'd like a game about tiny ninjas, check it out on Kickstarter in the link below the video. Uh, go ahead and click there if you want to see more about tiny ninjas. And don't forget to visit our friends, uh, the Giveaway Geek, as well as Everything Board Game and Ferdinand the Cardboard Stacker. Uh, some other great board game uh, content creators. And of course, check us out at unfilteredgamer.com. On our website, we have lots of other great content, blog, as well as a giveaway. Right now we have one going on for Space Base, uh, a really great game. It's got some, some strategy, resource management, lots of probability and fun stuff like that. Uh, as well, uh, you can always, you know, subscribe. That'd be great. Uh, give us a like, share the video if you'd like, and, uh, you know, let me know if you want me to do more of the Unfiltered Gamer videos. Uh, <laughs> just leave a comment below. Thank you so much, and as always, I look forward to seeing you next time. So, ah, uh, that's it. <laughs>